My girls, sometimes we go out and look at the starry night and look at the stars. They just have uh, stars in their eyes. And I think that when they grow up, uh, which will be in a blink of an eye, having uh, resources such as the LSST to engage them in the wonders of the universe, I think that will be, uh, that will be great. Well, understanding the universe is very exciting. And this is a very unique telescope that'll let us look at the entire sky uh, and see things that are changing. And there's a lot out there that's quite mysterious. They're talking about the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, called LSST, soon to be constructed on a desert mountaintop in Chile. Thanks to early investments from Charles Simone and Bill Gates, the massive mirrors, three of them, are already completed. These mirrors are part of a structure that will do what no telescope has ever done before. What's really unique about it is that it's designed to cover enormous amounts of sky. Uh, so LSST, a single picture from LSST, will be 40 times the size of the full moon in the sky. If you imagine staring up at the sky and looking at the moon and then drawing a circle which is 40 times bigger, that's one picture of L from LSST and we'll do that every 17 seconds. Uh, so in order to build a telescope which is capable of taking such a large picture, you need an unusual optical design. The mirrors have to be different than the way most telescopes in the world are. And the main thing you need is an enormous camera. We will be building the biggest digital camera ever constructed. LSST is a breakthrough in terms of the mirror, the camera, and the data processing involved because you're going to get so much data very quickly seeing, okay, what was interesting out there so that you can pursue it very rapidly that will require an amazing back end. And so it brings together many different types of scientists. First, we will learn more about the history of the universe and its fate, what will happen in the future. But then we'll also learn about how galaxies get born, how they form and then how they evolve, how solar systems like ours, how do they form and evolve. So we will learn a lot about history of universe, not just in general sense of cosmology about the expansion of the universe, but we learn much more about each little detailed constituent of the universe. And in addition to this mind-boggling science, we'll also address some pragmatic questions like, is there some killer asteroid waiting there? We will have the best consensus ever of those possible dangerous asteroids that could in principle destroy civilization. Are there such rocks out there in space or not? These exciting discoveries will be studied by scientists the world over, but that's not all. Basically, anyone with a personal computer or a laptop can log on and look at any part of the universe anytime they want. You know, we can give a galaxy to every school in the world and tell them, look at this galaxy over time because we'll have a thousand images of every one of these galaxies and see if a supernova goes off. And 250,000 times a year, a supernova will go off in one of those galaxies. In many cases, the school children will be the first humans in the world to actually have seen that with their own eyes. The possibilities are endless, but the funding is not. While private and government funding will build the telescope, its potential for scientific discovery depends on private funding for research that begins now. So we've been tremendously successful in getting the construction of LSSC started. At this stage, we need to invest in the community, in students, in postdocs, in faculty, at universities all over the country. In the next few years, LSST needs ample resources to develop the tools which mine LSST's petabyte-sized data. We need resources to develop these tools in a coherent fashion to enable more science. That will be the faucet that controls how much science will flow out of the LSST data bucket. People should join us in furthering this research. It's bound to lead to, to unimaginable uh, unimaginable uh, progress and unimaginable results. Well, Charles Simone and I uh, enjoy being supporters of this project, uh, making sure the mirror uh, got done, which is this the first milestone that's really quite amazing. Uh, we'd love to have other partners involved. Uh, government's going to uh, do its part. Uh, so building a whole team here is, is very important to get this going as soon as we can.